Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Mirasys USA, Mirasys YouTube channel. Today I will be showing how to export video using the Spotter client. Uh, Spotter is the graphical user interface in which a operator or user would use to track down video and export it uh, to a DVD drive or DVD drive, DVD-RW or a flash drive, network storage, uh, different things like that. So to begin here, I'll just go ahead and show my client, Spotter client. Um, what I'm showing right now is our thumbnail search where I just determined what I was what I was trying to track down here. So what I was looking for is uh, is uh, Steve going through one of these overview sensors of a Q6000 camera. So there I found that he was going through 148 and 14 seconds. So I know that uh, I'm going to be looking somewhere around that time for the video I'm looking for. So motion search is just one of the many tools to help you track down or thumbnail, show thumbnails of, of different things that are going on in the picture to allow you to track down that video very quickly. So here I've, I've pinpointed that video. There's Steve in that camera where I was doing the thumbnail search. And uh, here we can see the start of that video, ETV, zooming right over. And then we'll show the, the tracking that actually takes place after that with this, this new camera. So I'll back this up. This is going to be my start time. So first I'm going to drag the PTZ down to my export tab. Uh, it launches my start time and my end time. You'll also notice there's a export button on each camera view as you mouse over. And this export button gives you the ability to also add that export, add that video clip over to the exported tab. So you can either just drag and drop the video down or just right click, uh, click on the camera and hit add to video export. So now my, my first camera, my PTV is added in there. Now I can also add in these additional channels either by clicking on that or simply dragging the camera and dropping it into my export tab. This kind of depends on what feels more convenient to you on, on what way you want to go with. Uh, within this export tab that you see here, you can actually add up to eight cameras. And this will allow you to export uh, either as an AVI, an ASF. ASF is the advanced system format, which also includes our watermark, which will be verified when you open the player to play the, the video files. So now we've got each of our, our, our PTZ and the four sensors. And you notice right here, I've got my start time and my end time. So now I can fine tune this. I'm at 20 seconds right now. So I can expand this to get more video. So let's say this is really all I want right here. So we'll go start export. It gives a default location, which can be pre-set up. Uh, so as administrator, you can assign a location for your operators to automatically save and then remove it so that this file never pops up again. It just saves that location. And then if, if they have rights to access it, they can do that from there. Um, so we'll call this SLU export. And uh, for me, I'm just going to save it to the default location, which is my user and then the video videos and start export so the nice thing as well is this exporter is running as a as a separate item so it's not it doesn't have to continue running right there in your face you can minimize it you can even close this out you can go on and and do some more work so here you could go ahead and Try working on your next export or your next uh, event that you're trying to track down while your video is exporting. So here, if I wanted to go back and check uh, check video on this camera, I can search forward to find those thumbnails, and again, do the same thing here. So if I wanted to get that event with a different angle or find a, a new situation. A new event, I can be doing that while the video is exporting. It looks like our video is almost done here. 
Now, what happens when that video is exported is it's exporting the player along with the, the files and including a PDF. And the PDF just gives you basic instructions of what, uh, how to use the player and, and the different benefits of the player, what's, what's included. So that, that PDF is the basic instruction manual. And then you'll see the player, which is right here. And you will also have the file. So there, even though I had five cameras, it's just a single file here. Here's my PDF, which tells you all the different operating systems that it is compatible with. And then, of course, basic instructions of what, what each feature does in the software to, to provide uh, the, the person that's reviewing the clip the, the capabilities to know how to use it. All right, so now what we're going to do is open up our player. And then we'll open up our file. So now we're going to look for that specific SLU export. There we go. Now it's it's authenticating the watermark. And there we can see that it's been authenticated. And there we have our PTZ up front there and our other three sensors covering the 180 degrees. From here, I can double click on the one camera. And of course, expand the size and notice it is megapixels, so you still keep that clarity. And then go to one of the other sensors as well. And go back to PTZ. So, just a, a very basic overview. If you do need to find out where the clip came from, you have clip details, which tell which user exported it at the time that it was created, the recorder and the cameras that were exported with it, along with it. So the, the, the thing to remember is everything is drag and drop in mirror assist. You can drag and drop tabs, you export, you just drag cameras over the bottom left, or utilize that shortcut in each camera view. Thank you for joining and please stay tuned for more Miracis tutorials to show the features and capabilities of the software. Thanks and have a great day.